To see the the what used to be called a Rust Belt become the the the, the home of a, a significant resurgence of manufacturing. Putin may circle Kiev with tanks, but he'll never gain the hearts and souls of the Iranian people. He'll never he'll never extinguish the preventing Russia's central bank from defending the Russian ruble 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 the pound of Ukrainian people. Proud, proud people, pound for pound. There's simply nothing beyond our, comas- our capacity. Increasing the productive capacity of our, economy, of our economy. I call it building a better America. <laughs> we won't stop. <clears throat> because you can't build a wall high enough to keep out a, 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 a vaccine. The vaccine can stop the spread of these diseases. As one people, one America, the United States of America. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. Go get him. First, first of all, I thought that was Joe Biden at his best. Uh, Uncle Joe is back. Listen, I was impressed with the energy. I was impressed with If you didn't believe in democracy before, if you never heard of democracy, and you just looked at the body language of this guy. This guy believed every word he said. And I think I'm, yeah, I'm no, proud no. tonight we have a leader like him. I'm yeah. proud tonight. Hello, YouTube people. Thanks for watching. I'm Drone Tech. And as you probably guessed, I was not impressed by Joe Biden's incoherent rambling last night. But just take a wild guess who was. Abby, uh, I have to say, the, every president has to say the State of the Union is strong, even when it does not necessarily feel strong. There are a lot of hurting people out there. But that's quintessential Biden. The State of the our Union is strong because you, the American people, are strong. Very Biden. Oh, yeah. Very Biden. Except for the fact that for the last year, Joe Biden and his media mouthpieces have been calling his opposition domestic enemies, racists, and even Nazis. Which is interesting because that's exactly what Justin Trudeau did to his opposition. And more recently, that's exactly what Vladimir Putin has been doing to justify his invasion of Ukraine. I will not yield. I will not flinch. I will defend the right to vote. Our democracy against all enemies, foreign and yes, domestic. Do you want to be the side, the side of Dr. King or George Wallace? Do you want to be in the side of John Lewis or Bull Connor? Do you want to be in the side of Abraham Lincoln or Jefferson Davis? Conservative party members can stand with people who wave swastikas. They can stand with people who wave uh, the Confederate flag. We will choose to stand with Canadians who deserve to be able to get to their jobs, who be able to get their lives back. These illegal protests need to stop, and they will, Mr. Speaker. Защита людей, которые на протяжении восьми лет подвергаются издевательствам, геноциду со стороны киевского режима. И для этого мы будем стремиться к демилитаризации и денацификации Украины. Notice how silent they are about that particular fact. Uh, Biden wanting to make the point that uh, American unity is one of the things that he was elected to to foster is still on the agenda. The only thing that he's almost unified the country in is hating him and his agenda. Right now, Joe Biden's sitting around a 37% approval, and that's mostly Democrats. Another interesting fact here is that his low approval mirrors the low trust in media, which is sitting around the same number. Just look at this bullshit that CBS News tried to pull by tweeting out a poll implying wide support for Biden's speech, when in fact, this was the breakdown of who they polled. Don't believe anything these people tell you. That's a reference to the fact that there was a big effort in the Congress and, and bipartisan supported to sanction uh, the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, a natural gas pipeline from Russia to Germany, which Biden and the White House pushed back on because they felt like that would alienate Germany, mm -hmm. a key ally in NATO. Ultimately, everybody got to where Ted Cruz was even happy, mm -hmm. uh, but it took a, it took a long time. And yeah, it was more important to the Biden administration to have Germany on board with their coalition than to, to impose those sanctions at that point. If you look at what has happened over the past week, that strategy from the Biden administration was right. All survey said.
All right, first of all, with Dana Bash there claiming that Biden was actually proven right, which is just completely insane, it doesn't prove that at all. Germany has now indefinitely suspended that pipeline, which is what they should have done from the beginning. It keeps Russia in a position of power if the Europeans and Germany in particular still have to buy all of their oil from Russia. Thus, giving Russia more oil to sell to the Europeans and America doesn't exactly make it easy to sanction him. These sycophants are so freaking pathetic. Imagine thinking you're a journalist when in reality you're doing PR and marketing for the Biden regime. What Fapper and Bash don't tell their hypnotized audience is that Biden lost that bipartisanship when Democrats hilariously used the filibuster, which they had up to that point been calling racist and a relic of Jim Crow, to stop sanctions against Russia and give the go-ahead for Russia to open up the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. So while Tapper glowingly depicts Biden's strategy as sound because, quote, he wanted to keep Germany happy the truth is that his actions actually hurt germany from republicans on the ukraine portion of his speech was pretty positive well it was very positive i mean when was the last time you saw a bipartisan standing ovation in the united states congress i can't remember the the last time uh, not in recent history certainly not in the last four years or so so we have made incredible strides incredible We will eradicate the AIDS epidemic in America by the end of this decade. I can't remember the, the last time, uh, not in recent history, certainly not in the last four years or so. so why are these people called experts when they can't even remember recent history? All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, then leave a comment to let us all know what you think.